said, my name is Simon Bolt. I'm the Regional Account Director here, and we appreciate the uh, time this afternoon uh, to spend with us and learn a little bit more about our Starship Cloud product. Uh, as you all heard, um, that our ship gear product that uh, all of you are currently using today um, will be sunset uh, in December of 2023. Um, so we're kind of having these webinar sessions now to kind of give you some information uh, on what the um, Starship Cloud product can do for you. Um, the new features that are available um, for you all to migrate over to and the integrations that we offer. Um, so I'm gonna go through a brief presentation. Um, I do have two groups on the call today. Um, those of you who are using uh, e-commerce carts and marketplaces, and those of you who are using uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, so it's kind of a combo uh, webinar we're doing today. Uh, so bear with me as we go through quick demos um, of both solutions. Um, and we'll leave some time here at the uh, end for some questions for all of you to ask. But in the meantime, if you do have a question, please feel free to put that into the uh, chat box and we'll be happy to address those um, here in a little bit. Okay, so um, Starship. So if you haven't heard about Starship, um, it is our flagship product. Um, it's been around now since 1989, um, well in advance of ship gear. Uh, basically, it's a multi-carrier solution. Um, so we do not use World Ship. We do not use Ship Manager as you all probably are using today. Um, we do have the ability of connecting with all the parcel carriers, so UPS, FedEx, uh, DHL, et cetera, including post office, um, and also LTL carriers, right, um, which you'll see here in a few moments. Um, we have the ability of reducing your freight spend by offering you those discounted rates uh, with the USPS um, incentives that are out there. Um, you will get the lowest rate possible by shipping with post office. So for those of you who might be using Indicia or another like stamps account uh, outside of ship here, um, you may want to consider using um, Starship to um, do all your postage and have that tracking capability back into your uh, source you're pulling those orders from. Um, as many of you are in this call today, using e-commerce integrations, uh, we have about a couple or about a dozen over a dozen different carts and uh, marketplaces we support today, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute as well. Uh, but the ability to pull direct orders out of e-commerce and send tracking and update statuses to uh, is very important. Um, we also support e-commerce in a different manner called e-commerce as an extension, where we can now uh, bring those orders into an ERP source uh, and basically update both the ERP. Um, so for those of you who might be using QuickBooks and an e-commerce cart, uh, we can update both uh, of those sources, um, which is unique to Starship. Uh, also, uh, simplifying all the paperwork. What we find a lot of times is we have front office personnel and back uh, the warehouse personnel uh, and documents are kind of being passed over, uh, you know, manually, right? So Starship is designed to print all of those documents uh, for your uh, international shipping. If you're doing international shipping today, like such as your commercial invoice, USMCA documentation, as well as a bill of lading for LTL purposes, hazmat paperwork, which is a big feature of Starship, uh, be able to print all your OP900 and manifests that are needed for those shipments. So again, those are kind of the main features we'll touch on today. Um, and then back here, um, you're gonna see kind of the various carriers that we have integrations with today. Um, so you'll see a bunch of uh, US carriers. Uh, we do have some Canadian carriers that we support as well. Uh, they're in the lower right corner. Uh, but again, we support all your main uh, national carriers on the LTL front, as well as parcel carriers um, here as well. Uh, if you don't see a carrier that we have up there, and not to say we cannot work with them, uh, we do have options to printing a bill of lading um, uh, manually in Starship and, and generating tracking information like a pro number and getting that back in. Uh, we also have three PLs that we can put you in touch with um, to possibly uh, work with your carrier. So definitely have a conversation with um, Jason or Will who are on my team or on the, on the call with me um, and they can kind of put you in touch with the right people as needed. And then here's the various e-commerce integrations that we support today. Uh, so again, many of you uh, might be using Shopify or WooCommerce or Magento, et cetera. Um, today you're gonna see, um, I'm gonna show you a very simple Shopify integration, which most of you um, uh, might be using today, uh, but we do have others as well, such as Amazon, eBay, that we get a lot of inquiries for. Um, so again, if you have any of these, we can definitely assist you. Uh, unfortunately, if it's not on the list, um, we do not have an integration and therefore cannot assist you uh, today, but, um, but definitely speak to us and we can always track those for future requests um, later on. And just so you are aware, um, you not have uh, been notified of this yet, uh, but a lot of you have been using ship gear or know about the end of life, uh, but there will be a formal communication coming out here shortly 
uh, probably the next month um, about a new uh, increase coming. Uh, this increase was delayed. It was actually supposed to go into effect in July. Uh, this has now been pushed back to October uh, to allow enough time for users to kind of get adjusted and see the product of Starship. Uh, but more importantly, with the conditions that we're all facing in <clears throat> the current marketplace, um, we are unfortunately have to take an increase um, here of our ship gear product to be more in line with uh, other solutions that are in the market. Um, so you can see what the new pricing will be for the plan you're running on today. Um, so again, off to the right is what the new pricing will look like for ship gear come October 1st. Um, but again, you'll see some promotional incentives that we have with our Starship product, which will make it a much more advantageous uh, for you to take advantage of and maybe even save you some money um, over the ship gear product you're using. All right, so let's jump into some quick demos here. Um, so first, I'm going to start um, with our QuickBooks Online demonstration. Um, so again, as I mentioned earlier, um, uh, for everyone, um, we do have um, the ability here. Oops, I'm not sure what this is. Um, <clears throat> I do have a e-commerce integration to review here after this. Um, so bear with me for a few minutes while I take them through a QuickBooks Online demo. Uh, but again, when we log into QuickBooks or into Starship, sorry. Um, we're basically logging into a, um, a URL, right? So it's a cloud-based application. The nice thing with a cloud-based application is that anybody in the company can use it, have access to it as a named user. Um, so there are no plans that are we're going to restrict you on user counts. Um, so if you have 10 users, two users, 100 users, it doesn't matter to us. Um, you can log in anywhere in the world to this product. Um, and then when you log in, you essentially see all of your QuickBooks Online orders will be listed here for you to choose from. Everything we do with Intuit is in real time. So the minute I save an invoice, it will show up here for my shipper to ship against. And this is the one order that I have to ship against at the moment. Um, I can easily, just like ship gear, scan in, type in the order invoice number here, or I can easily click the little truck icon off to the right and pull in my order as well um, right away. And everything for you will be in one screen in this case. So again, I have this order going out UPS ground. Um, again, we can support LTL. If you're doing LTL with QuickBooks, we're more than happy to walk through a separate demo on that. Uh, but again, up here, we just have pretty basic information. Your sender, we have our recipient information. We map in from QuickBooks Online. Um, we do an address validation. So up here, you'll see a green checkbox, just validating a street address and a zip code, along with a secondary validation with a business versus residential for you as well. So again, just making sure that all those address correction fees you may see may go away or maybe at least limited uh, on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, this section here is just showing you your UPS ground as how we mapped it in. It will default to your prepaid account. We do support third-party billing, uh, which I won't get into too much today, uh, but just to leave you with that fact, we can set up various third-party IDs and bring in various account numbers so that way the charges are billed to the correct account on behalf of your customer as well. Shipment details are basically in here for you to choose as options. So things like insurance are in here, Saturday delivery. Um, one of the important things a lot of customers will ask us for is they might be using Quantum View through UPS today. We support both Quantum View as well as the FedEx Insight program in here. More importantly, on the exception basis um, as well, because those uh, exceptions are really sent out by the carrier themselves when an issue arises with a delivery. Um, Starship does have the ability, which I'll show you here in a few moments, uh, to setting up various email notifications uh, for those shipments and delivery uh, notifications that can be sent out to your customer that you can personalize as well. Um, and then down here, um, one of the main advantages over Shipgear is Shipgear is going to only pull in your header level detail. Starship will pull in all the lines um, from the invoice from QuickBooks. Uh, this is the same for e-commerce as well. Um, we can define specific items like I have here to different boxes. So I can tell Starship, hey, I want my set or pedestal always in my drill case, for instance. I want my Lego set in my Lego box. Um, you have that option to doing that or sim simply bringing all your items into one box as well. So same thing here. We do have a packaging database uh, where you can store your various boxes. You can store your different dimensions and weights associated to this as well. We do support dimensional weight. Um, another question we get a lot of, Right, so again, we're reading in your DIM factors from your carriers, um, so that way we can calculate that correctly. Um, and then over here, we just have our charges, right? So we have basically our um, three sets of rates. I'm hiding one at the moment called published rates that we can return, but the contracted rate is your negotiated rate along with your applied rates, um, which are basically uh, markups or freight rules is another term we'll use. 
Um, so in this case, I'm basically having a 10% markup that I may want to send back into QuickBooks that I want to invoice back to my customer. Um, this may not be used in the e-commerce world for those e-commerce shippers on the call today, um, just because in the e-commerce world, you're collecting those freight uh, costs up front. Uh, but on the QuickBooks side, you may be taking advantage of that manually. Starship can automate that process and we can always modify the rule by customer as needed. One of the main attractions of Starship is the rate shop. Um, so in this section here, basically you can set up a rule um, and look for the least expensive options, or you can click a box like shop all and basically have um, all of your carriers show up in one place. So here in this example, um, you're gonna see that my UPS ground rate is coming second in line. We'll always return back a transit time uh, by business days or total days. There's a uh, column you can add here. Um, and then the negotiated rates by um, your carriers. So in this case, I'm going to save $2 essentially with FedEx, or I can go with post office right below it, two business days a day slower. It's going to cost me a bit more, right? Um, but again, your choice of selecting which carrier you want to use off to the left. You always have the option of choosing it by selecting the box next to it. And once you've made your decision, you can go ahead and ship and process. You will get a shipping label here uh, that will print. Uh, the information will be written back in the QuickBooks online on that invoice and then you'll be all set um, and ready to go. So again, as soon as I open up, oops, not where I wanted to go. Um, so as soon as I open up my, um, so you'll see the labels are printing now, right? With associated packing lists. Um, so again, you'll have all that information to you. Um, you have a couple different options in printing with uh, thermal printers that you're using today. We can print to those. We can also print what was on the screen, it's called a smart label, an eight and a half by 11 label stock on a laser printer if you prefer that. Um, and then if you want to use the packing list through Starship, you can, or you can use what comes out of QuickBooks. Here's essentially the right back into QuickBooks for you. Um, so again, just like it showed before, right, you'll have now all the information recorded on the invoice information here inside of the invoice. So the master tracking number will always be placed here. And then down here in the notes section, um, we'll list all the information regarding the shipment, your total weight, packages, all the associated tracking numbers are listed here and basically your shipping costs are over here in the shipping field. So that is our QuickBooks Online um, workflow uh, with Starship today. Um, obviously that went through a very, very high level, uh, but we're more than happy to sit down with you closer and go through more in depth um, if you're interested in learning more about that. Um, so right now I'm gonna sort of shift gears and go through a quick um, Shopify demonstration here for our e-commerce shippers. And what you've just all seen um, is really going to be repetitive, uh, essentially, uh, but we're just now connecting over to Shopify versus QuickBooks. Um, so here, just like before, we can type in our order number. We can, you know, scan in uh, a barcode if you want, or again, you can use our little truck icon uh, off to the right, um, pull in our, in our order from Shopify, uh, and in here, same information, same thing with address validation uh, we have available um, for all sources. Um, so you'll have the same uh, features there. Same concept here, we're gonna pull in your ship via. Um, this we're tr just translating over to UPS in this case, billing your account. Uh, in the e-commerce space, as I mentioned, that is gonna be very popular because you are probably collecting your freight costs up front, already predetermined. We're not gonna probably use rate shopping in this case. We're probably not gonna use a, um, uh, rules, right, to charge anything back. Um, but again, if you have that need, we can definitely assist you in that case. Uh, nothing different in our shipment detail section here. All the same options, insurance, quantum view is all applicable. And then again, you'll have the same view uh, from a packaging side as well um, that you saw before. Again, just defining specific items if you want or bringing everything into one box. And then again, down here, you have your rate shop as you saw seen before as well. Uh, if you decide that you wanna maybe switch it for any reason for the customer and save them a little bit of money, you're more than welcome to choose that option for them uh, in this case. And then when you're ready from the Shopify perspective, again, uh, one thing I should mention is that the uh, order status should be an unfulfilled status because we will update that to fulfill inside of Shopify, which I'll show you here now, um, along with the tracking information associated to this order. Um, so again, once this processes, your labels are gonna print uh, for you just like before, and then our right back into uh, Shopify will occur as well. So again, there's our first label, one of two, along with its packing list. Here's your second label, two of two, that has printed. And now if I go over to my Shopify site here, I just refresh my order. You're now gonna see that we marked that from unfulfilled to fulfilled. We have our two associated tracking uh, numbers in this case. 
and just uh, want to point out here while I'm, I'm thinking about it, um, all the e-commerce integrations, if you're a WooCommerce shipper, an eBay shipper, Amazon shipper, they all essentially work the same way, right? Um, it's just a matter of where we are updating the information. Um, so you have all the same um, features of the status updates, the tracking numbers associated, along with notes being updated as well in this case, right? Carrier um, being mentioned here, who you shipped it with. So all of that is done for you inside of Shopify. So that is now the e-commerce workflow that we just went through very, very quickly. Uh, but as I said before, if we want to go through more detail or specifically to your e-commerce cart, we're more than happy to review that with you. Um, but before I kind of turn it over to some questions um, from everyone, I uh, just want to review a couple of different things that you would get with Starship that you don't get really with Shipgear today. Um, Starship comes equipped with a lot of different uh, analytical tools, right? Reports, um, things at your fingertips that you may need to go to the carrier for information on today. Um, we try to give you everything you need right there in your desk. Um, so one of the features we provide is a heat map, again, more, more known as a distribution map. So all of these dots that are on the screen, these red dots are your heavy uh, points of distribution. Um, things like your lighter greens, grays, um, you're sort of you're losing business there, or you're maybe just starting to ship into those areas. But everywhere you don't see a dot is where you're not shipping product to. This can be helpful in times where you're looking to maybe expand into different locations. You might be looking to negotiate new rates with your carriers, looking at a distribution analysis and saying, maybe I ship a lot of product to the West Coast. My discounts aren't as aggressive to the West Coast. I want to maybe you know sharpen the pencil with UPS or FedEx in that case. Um, that is up to you to use this to your uh, liking. You always have the options in this uh, heat map or any one of these charts to drill into various filters um, and look at different uh, information um, of your choice. Um, it's up to you. Um, and over here, you have accessibility to all of our charts, right? So things at um, high level, right? So really quick glances of what's going on, like your total shipment count, package count, cost, right? You can, again, drill into any one of these maps or charts, I should say, um, very easily and change information like a date range. I want to look at my three-month um, trends, right? What does that look like? So you can see right on the fly, it's going to show you I'm declining. Maybe I'm going into my slow season right now, and you know about that. Maybe you don't know anything about it, and it's concerning. This is really important to look at. Um, all of these work the same way, right? And you can add as many charts as you like on your dashboard um, from a visibility perspective. Starship also comes with a full report database. So we have reports, things like address correction, a popular one, charges comparison, looking at your applied rates versus uh, quoted rate at the time, uh, side by side. So we have FedEx reports in here, UPS reports are built into here, um, parcel detail reports are in here, uh, popular one, late deliveries, right? So we have a lot of reports um, that can be all downloaded in PDF or Excel for you. Um, so if you're in a meeting and looking at this information, you have all this information at in your fingertips. Um, and then lastly um, is really our notification tool, right? So in here, um, Starship does have um, something called eNotify. Um, and eNotify essentially is a way for us to um, notify your customer of a shipment coming to them. Um, so you can design these templates however you like, uh, but real, um, it's very simple. You can add logos. You can just give them a notification of their order number, um, you know, carrier that was shipped with, delivery date of when to expect it, how many packages, uh, maybe a table with different tracking numbers. These tracking numbers you can click on and it'll take them directly out to the UPS site to track on their own. Um, maybe insert a, you know, all the items that were part of that box so they understand what was packed inside of each box. And then maybe for the e-commerce user uh, or the customer, right, you may want to insert a coupon code for them to use for a future order uh, on your website um, uh, at any time. So again, really up to you how you want to design these uh, templates. Uh, but again, it's for you to uh, take advantage or your customer to have everything they need not to bother you uh, to track their packages for them. Um, these templates can be sent out in real time or either at any time of day. Uh, my preference to tell all of you is to set them at the end of the day uh, once all of the carriers have shown up and made their pickups. Um, so that way you don't have any fire drills in the morning. Uh, for uh, where's my package? You told me it was coming to me, but it's still showing on your dock. You do have the ability of always coming in and turning off those emails for a particular carrier. Um, so you don't have those fire drills in the morning in case if they don't show up this evening. Um, 
So with that being said, um, I'm going to stop there. Um, and if you're definitely interested in learning more about the application or anything I haven't covered today, uh, we're more than happy to sit down with you at any point in time and review that with you. Appreciate everyone spending some time with us and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you soon.